Bosham, West Sussex, or Bosham, depending on where you're from. They're the team furthest west on the map from the Southern Combination League Division 2 and the longest drive of Charlwood's season, which is why everybody is late and possibly one of the many reasons why the club have only got 12 players today. All right, chaps. How are we doing? All right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Bloody hell. All right, boys. Sorry. Yeah, I paid a fine. We were, we were two minutes away, then we turned off, and then we were 22 minutes away. What I'll do is just name the team and the number so you can start slowly getting ready. All right, so obviously Zacho's not here, number one. Merce, two. Josh, five. Dino, six. Wardy, do you, what do you wear, Wardy? Three. You're fitching out, is it? Just, Justin, seven. Payne, eight. Jamie, ten, dog. There you go, Jay. And Ryan, when he comes, nine. Cousins, 12. Barks, bloody hell, 14. George, if he arrives, 16. Phipps, 17. The bloke out there of his dog, 18. <laughs> Ollie Tennant, 19. Mike Lockhart, 21. What a squad, boys, eh? Hello, mate. <laughs> Zach, we've just got here as well, mate, don't worry. It's a long old journey, mate, we've just arrived. Fuck off. All right, boys, just listen up. My team talk today, do you remember that Tony Adams clip when he was doing all this? I was going to just show you that. That's basic. Just picture that, right? It's basically it. We've got 11, right? The benches, we've got Adam who could probably do a job, and me and Mike who are about five stone overweight. So what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We've got to, boys, we've got to use the ball today. You don't have to keep going forward. You've got two pivots in midfield, you've got fullbacks, you've got Zach who's brilliant with his feet. Work the ball out, don't force it. Let's make them work today. They could have 150 kids here. It's our 11 against their 11, and you are more than good enough. This is a huge three points and turn that into work rate, all right? All right. With just one point from their opening two games, Bosom are young and hungry. But it's Charlwood who are the brighter team from the opening whistle, with Starwing and Jamie Liddell creating several openings down the left hand side. Great football. We love that rip! We love that rip! Referee! Referee! That's poor! Outside advantage! A poor advantage decision from the referee soon upsets Charlwood, but it's a bad injury to left back Matt Ward that becomes a major issue in the first half. Good lad! Twist your ankle, boy. Twist yeah. it. Oh, you know, I have my knee. And your knee? Yeah, but no, I don't Just see how he is. Um, get hurt centre off and you go left back then. With only one obvious substitute available, manager Peter Barkley accepts he might just have to make a rare appearance. Yeah, I'm gonna get kicked up. Mike, it's not right. I can't play bloody 80 minutes. <laughs> but before he can don the yellow shirt, veteran utility man Richard Easto performs one of the assists of the season to set up leading scorer Stephen Payne. Get in there! Despite the goalkeeper's protestations, an onside Stephen Payne swivels to put Charlwood one up. Charlwood continue to assert their dominance with winger Justin Ford striking the bar soon after. Matt Ward eventually succumbs to his injury and is taken off at of the pitch. Sorry, mate, you did really well, but I don't, you, when you run then I just thought it's not worth it. Alright, I know, I know. Proves to be a turning point with a change in shape that allows Bosom to get a foothold in the game. The new formation brings winger Jamie Liddell into the middle of the park where he's asked to do more than just attack much to his frustration. Too easy, too easy! Jamie, join in, Jay! How was he four yards behind the place playing behind the front two?
with both his teammates and the bench criticising his lacklustre performance, Jamie Liddell asks to be substituted before hurling abuse at his manager. <laughs> As the momentum shifts in Bosom's favour, Chow would concede a 20-yard equaliser on the stroke of half-time. Whatever's been said and done, we move on. We're men here. I'm kitted up. That's how after everything we put in the club. I'm kitted up and going to go on now. I've had a slip disc, I've been had a walk. I've been in so much pain, I was off work for eight months, I had alopecia my hair falling out because of my slip disc in my back. But I tell you what, when I come on, I'll do everything I can to win the game. And I won't bottle and I won't turn my back. He's played with me, he knows. Not the best player. And I won't be out there and I might be embarrassed. But I'll do it for you boys. And all I ask is you do it for each other. You've got two types of blokes. You dig in and you drag people with you. Well, you throw your arms in the air, when we lose, you go, nothing to do with me, nothing to do with me. Didn't care. We've created chance after chance. We still don't let the ball go. He's shouting, shoot. We're shouting, shoot. Hit the ball this off. When you get here, from the edge of this D out, you either hit stick it in the net or stick it in that bloke's garden. But you either dig in for each other now, or you moan all evening, you moan all tomorrow, and then you apologise on Monday morning. You must do it, boys. You must, because it's too easy now to go, oh, we've got no subs, the gap is coming on, throw our arms up in the air, we're going to lose this. Let's make sure you're not coming off for me, because that's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? All right? Come on, come lads. On, come Together. On. Together. Come on, Jay. Every single fucking Come on, every one of us. Every one of us. Taking heed of his manager's words, Jamie Liddell begins to turn his performance around. Yes. Oh, unlucky, Jamie. Keep going, keep going. Bosom midfield ups the aggression, with goal scorer Josh Mines fortunate to avoid a simbin for his repeated kicks on Ryan Pearson. Don't give me any more trouble by encroaching on the field of play, which you fine, shouldn't do, which you shouldn't do. Sorry, I, was to I don't fine. want you in trouble. Sorry, I Have enough fine. control in them. Give us a smile, you learnt your lesson. Justin! Brilliant, Jamie. 1v1, Jay. Child are in control in the second half, but Bosom still managed to create chances that they failed to take. No, shut up, a clumsy challenge on Nadell somehow results in a goal kick, but Child's push for a second is gaining momentum. <laughs> Taking the manager's advice a little too literally, Aaron Murphy and Justin Ford put their shots into a neighbour's garden. With the crowd and opposition players on his back, Jamie Liddell rounds the keeper to put Chow with 2-1 up and manager Peter Barkley brings himself on to help defend the lead. And 
just two minutes later, Ryan Pearson's exceptional hold-up play allows Ben Herdman to get the killer third. War of words between Adele and frustrated bosom keeper Jack Hickman threatens to boil over. Jamie, turn around and walk away! Unhappy at his team's demise and Adele's sniping, the bosom keeper, like many of his teammates, doesn't take the defeat particularly well. Boys, we were sat here half time, we were sat here half time, and it was friction and there was a bit of doubt. Never doubt each other, because that is one of the best <laughs> second halves in my five years of being a manager ever. And there's nothing sweeter than them not having a go. Nothing sweeter. Fucking Because we live here with three golden points. I actually got some time on the bench. Yeah. Right? Boys, I always say this, and I respect you and love you because you put your bodies on the line. Enjoy tonight. Get in there! Yeah. 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 Well 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't have sat in the gathering if you'd have missed that. <laughs> 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 Little boys, celebrate you on the pitch, one of my all-time highlights. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, a lot of injuries, some people away, and two of the lads went to Portugal, which is obviously on the quarantine list, so we took the responsible decision not to play them, which could have hurt us and you know, I, I, I was having an iron over it, but it was the right thing to do. First half, big team talk, and then come back second half, got that fans all against us, their team hated us, every tackle, and then we go and score two goals at the end and win it. That's what we play football for, isn't it? To have that moment on the pitch with them all, will go down in all my football time as one of my highlights. It was priceless. <laughs> uh, relieved, really, is, is for me, relieved. Um, just got to get the three points and, and get out of here, really. That's, that was the, the game plan today, I think, with all the players we have missing. Have you never come across someone on the pitch that you thought, I hate this guy? Yeah, Jamie Liddell. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the million dollar question, really, mate. I think people have been asking that since I was a kid. Um, Zach said it in the changing rooms, he would love to know what goes on in my head sometimes when I'm playing football. One minute. You know, first 15, 20 minutes, I was on fire, getting at the defenders, playing well, creating chances. Next 20 minutes, I'm, I might as well, they might as well have been playing with 10. You know, I, I, was, I was nowhere, I was all over the place. Didn't track the runner for the goal, you know, and, and could have cost us the game if I hadn't have sorted myself out second half, I suppose. We love the bloke. He's so talented and he's such a kind, caring bloke. But something goes on the pitch and I know he was frustrated, he had to move inside, um, but when you're at, at war, which we were today, you know, you need everyone pulling in the same direction and huge respect to him second half because he did it. He did it second half, and in performance probably in the second half. The last 20 minutes we didn't have much of the ball and I was doing more, I, I felt like that my job was now just do, doing doggies and chasing a four that, and I didn't want to do it, basically. I didn't want to do it uh, <laughs> and, and I didn't do it and I didn't do it. So. Um, you know, I look at it now and it's selfish, it is selfish. Um, we've come here with bare 11, you know, we've got Barks and Mike on the bench. No, it was disappointing and I'll probably be, you know, gutted with it myself when I, when I go home tonight. I definitely didn't want to come on, definitely didn't want to come on. Uh, obviously, ward has gone down, um, he's a big, brave guy with a big heart and he tried to play on. I've done a medial before and it's agony, it'd be an agony tonight. Um, be thankful that we haven't really got any subs, otherwise, I'd probably be taken off, and, and you know, rightly so, and probably deservedly. You know, the guys are running their nuts off in the middle of the park, and I'm, 
having a row with a gaffer. So, um, yeah, not ideal, and it's, it's embarrassing, you know, and I get embarrassed about it, he knows that, and, you know, it's nothing personal, it's just what goes through my head at, at the time. You're on such a high, if you go out, you're going to be in trouble, you're going to <laughs> end up 15 beers deep on the floor. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing you can do, really. I'll probably just go and sit down and uh, have a takeaway, just try and chill out. Well, by the time I get back, takeaway, beer, match of the day. Enjoy it. Asking you for footage.